It's margarita, I guess. She and she's, first of all, she's underage to even be drinking. Okay? First of all, she's not 21 years old. He should not even be giving her liquor. So the fact that she is underage, he's giving her liquor, it's because he's trying to pursue something with her and trying to get her. So, I didn't like Chris from the jump. I'm going to just keep it 100. I had been drinking. He had his hand on me. And I look over and I see he has his hand on Helena. What the heck? I literally got up immediately after that and I walked away and I was like, you're just filthy. Hi G-Squad, it's your girl just So today's video is about Jada explaining why she made an apology video to Chris and Queen. But first, before we get right into this video, if it's your first time checking out my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below because I'm sure you will love it. And also, if you already subscribed, don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you can get notified whenever you get an upload from your girl, you already know. And yes, guys, but I also wanted to say thank you so much for all the new subscribers I've been receiving. We are almost at 2.5, which is 2,500 subscribers on here. I'm really, really, really grateful for all that. Guys, I'm sure we can make it after 2.5. Let's get it to 3,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much once again for subscribing to the channel. It really helps me. And now let's get right into the video. Y'all already know the drill. I'll give you guys some space somewhere right here so you guys can watch the video I'll be reacting to. And yeah, let's talk about that video. I'm just going to get right into it, basically. Um, if you are new to this channel and don't know what's going on, which is pretty rare at this point, me and my two other sisters have released an exposing video. Sisters. Exposing a YouTuber for cheating. Yeah. That video has now gone viral at this point. And, yeah. So about three days later after posting that viral video, I came out with an apology video. And then about two days later, me and my sisters came out and exposed Chris more. There's a plane More juice. So recently I've been in touch with another YouTuber named Martin Lewis. Of course. He she loves this. When this whole thing happened, when we first exposed him, and I had him to vent to, I told him everything that was going on. You know, he's a YouTuber, so he like knew how the YouTube drama goes. Basically, we had no support but that. He made a YouTube video and he was just so sweet and so understanding of the situation, but nobody else really was. We had so many messages blowing up, calling us just like, I mean, it got so bad. I mean, it still is horrible. I don't even want to like check my phone right now. Let me check my DMs right now. From Pink Plug, Z. Listen here, you stink. Stop posting videos trying to hurt people. If anything, hurt yourself. That's yeah, so rude. that's just one. I get this about every, like, minute. Basically, when we post that video, it went viral. That I think she sized it every minute, though. I mean, we laughed about it and everything, but we were just basically just trying to get back at Chris. And I'm going to explain right now why. So, when we first met Chris, I mean, I put it on God. I have never watched him and Queen's videos. I don't watch YouTube. I am not into YouTube. I literally made a YouTube channel in the beginning specifically for my... Instagram followers just to get to know my personality and who I am. I don't watch YouTube. I don't have the patience to just sit there and watch someone's full video and I'm talking. I literally, I literally don't have any patience. I didn't even know who Rice, what's his name, Rice Gum? Rice Gum? So I was in DDG's YouTube videos. If you guys don't know who that is, Pontiac made DDG. He's a YouTuber. He's big on YouTube. 
came to LA two months ago and I hung out with him and he was the one who told me you should get into YouTube. So I didn't like Chris from the jump. Wow. I'm gonna just keep it 100. I had been drinking, he had his hand on me, and I look over and I see he has his hand on Helena. What the heck? I literally got up immediately after that and I walked away. It was like, just filthy. I personally, I don't think he's cute. I don't know why girls go crazy over him. Really? Are you sure? Because he has like a nice clean cut beard, but I don't even like beards. I don't like a lot of hair. So Helena wanted to hang out with him further. She really was interested in this guy. She thought he was cute. Then he started telling us about his YouTube channel that he also he does YouTube. He told us that he they weren't even in a relationship. That they are starting to now lie into their own channels and take it slowly. I should even be saying how much money they make. According to him, that they made make so much money with each other that like their whole relationship is just based on that. So, me and my wow. get a lot of comments saying, you know, you guys have a showing no sympathy. You guys are laughing about it. Well, it's kind of hard to be sympathetic when Chris sat in front of my face and told him that their whole relationship is just like, nah. I don't know if he lied to us because he was just trying to get in a girl's hands or if it's the truth. Queen has now came out with a video speaking on it and I'm so happy this whole situation is out because guys, if you have a wife and a kid, exactly word for word she said, no, he is worth that. It's really hard to be sympathetic about this whole situation when Chris is like over here posting a picture on Twitter the day after we exposed him. On Twitter just looking like he just chilling, looking oh, I like he's just that. not giving a that's true. So why did I make the apology video? Basically, we got so much hate. It got so bad to the point Helena wasn't even like moving. Wow. She was just laying in the bed. Wow, I'm getting emotions on my mind. She basically got so emotional to the point that um, she wouldn't even like get out of the bed or anything. Like she's just getting so much hate. Um, I don't know. What I mean. <laughs> I just like laughed about the whole thing and just wow. like, let's expose him, like screw him. And she was getting caught like oh. And all these things, and she was the one who put her personal business out there. And I just privated the video, and I was just like, you know what, let's just move forward. I'm going to come out, and I'm going to take blame for everything. I was the oldest. It was on my YouTube channel, so I'm going to take full blame for it. So I posted the video, and um, all I did was just a quick This is all and crazy, I'm man. Like, I am so sorry. I had also message queen before I even put it on social media because I didn't even want this stuff on social media anymore. I messaged queen Sorry if I'm so moving guys. My dog is pushing my table paragraphs. in my life. She didn't respond. I mean of course she's not gonna respond. So then I decided to call Chris. I left a voicemail. I called Chris again. I left a second voicemail. I texted Chris. I, it was so bad to the point that I was willing to say this was all a prank. A lot of YouTubers right now are coming out saying that this whole thing is a prank, that all that stuff, that we use this for clout. Why did I even make that apology video? Basically, I hate Chris. First of all, I'm a very, very Christian woman and I'm an older sister to many siblings. I came Sign out up. and I said the apology because I wanted it to end. An incident. It didn't
and then, so when I reached out to Chris, I texted him. He responded with, who's this? I mean, obviously, he knows this is. I just sent a paragraph apologizing. I'm so sorry. This was so childish. Let's just say it's a prank. Like, who cares? Like, the hate got so bad. Her business was out there. I was like, let's just say it's a prank. I even told Chris, I have some ideas. If there's anything I can do to fix this, I just wanted to stop. I want everything to go back to normal. It just wasn't worth it, especially seeing um, Helena like that. We smile about it in videos and we post pictures, just acting real good. But there was a point that we were so depressed and so down that um, it wasn't worth it. But we posted this for revenge with persons because. We hated Chris, like he played her and we just wanted to expose him and then it ended up backfiring like crazy. He responded saying, fuck you, um, saying that he knows where addresses, don't forget, you know, just sending me a little threat. Saying that you are a Christian man and you're threatening me, that's why it's still up there. That's why it's still there. After I posted the apology video, privated the video, me, Helena, and Maya started getting a lot of people DMing us saying, we love you guys. Why'd you guys take it down? You did the right thing. You guys exposed him. Screw him. So then I was just like, then I just had to regroup and we had to talk to each other and just help each other through it. And we were just like, you know what? We're not going to let this get to us. Saying he's done the exact same thing, tried to mess with them as well, then us proof. I mean, I'm just like, Chris, welcome to hell. Oh, you know what? I hate players. These guys go after young girl, younger girls who are more naive and more vulnerable and who are just fascinated with them. They take them like they're their little puppet and you play games with them. I did. So it's just like, so Queen has came out with a video. I've watched the whole thing. And she is, looks like she's hurting a lot. We're all getting hate comments. We're not even being sympathetic. But it's hard when it's like, but didn't she scam your followers? You had all these followers looking up to you. And you guys sold iPhones and scammed them for money. That's and how you know they have been investigating on Chris and Queen with Martin Lewis because he knows about all this scamming stuff. He knows. Shaking my hand, man. Queen was in the background just like laughing too. But, but the videos and everything we're talking about is not revenge on Queen. We're not posting all this stuff to her Queen or her Chris. I am actually ready to put all of this in the past. So everything happens for a reason, and I'm a firm believer of that. I am a believer in Christ. I go on and preach all the time, and I believe that this happened for a reason. I know there's going to be so many hate comments, and at this point, I don't care. If this never happened, like, I am now able to read, like, the most hateful, disgusting hate comment and just be strong and just be like, okay, like, I, I, we were letting, like, all the hate comments affect us so hard, and it made me so strong, and I'm, I'm grateful that you guys put hate comments. Thank you, guys. Like, I think that it taught Helena a lot. Like, it taught Helena a lot. Like, now she knows more about guys, and, like, they are players. And I hope that girls watching this, like, this whole situation that happened, you guys have watched the videos and now you guys know like there are there are good men out there i'm not gonna lie but there are so many signs now to know when a guy has wrong intentions guys if you have a woman that loves you just be so careful with her heart like exactly i believe god has everything happen for a reason there's a reason why we they always love to talk about god there's a reason why we posted on social media I don't even know why that even went through my head to even post it and put this whole situation on black. I had so much anger towards him for 
one playing my friend, two. Friend, y'all hear that? Not even her sister. To his wife and making videos with her the day after and making money off of her when you you don't even deserve her. But I and then again I don't know Chris and Queen personally. I don't know what Queen does. So if you guys have not already hit that subscribe button, I think that we're going to start to drift away from this whole thing and leave Queen to heal and watch them post another video. Go. This is not it. God has So guys that was jada um one of the girls that posted the first exposing video about chris if y'all don't know um basically she when they posted that video she had like a couple of hundreds of subscribers now she has twenty five thousand subscribers that's how much you know that certain people are actually supporting her you know even though she does get hate but she certain people are liking the fact that she you know exposed him and the fact that his wife, who is Quinn, knows, you know, what's going on. I mean, even though she had been knowing, she probably thought he changed. But she knows that he's still cheating and still messing around with other females. And plus, I really do feel like, um, at this point, if it doesn't end after the video she just posted, it will be a bit for clout. But then again, you gotta understand the fact that it's her friend and she... At the beginning, they said they were sisters, but now she finally said that it's actually a very close friend that they treat like a sister so when your friend like like very, your very close friend is hurt you feel hurt so even if she posts another video it will be a bit for clout but then again she want to express how she's really feeling about this whole situation so then again guys you have to understand you know how they are feeling as well and the fact that she says she hates Chris but she let him touch her the way he did at the club I'm actually not understanding that okay but then she says she was tipsy but even when you're tipsy like i've gotten tipsy before when you're tipsy if i don't like that's actually when my real side comes out like if i'm tipsy if i don't like you i'll be like ew don't touch me like you know what i'm saying so that's questionable too so yes i feel like they should stop dragging this situation because it's what it is queen already knows what's up she needs to heal from it like she mentioned in the video she needs that you know healing process to happen before she even thinks about what's next or what's 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 up um okay and also guys i'll be um doing a q a video like i mentioned on the video i expect I uploaded before this one so make sure y'all follow me on all my social media platform that's instagram twitter and snapchat that will be listed in the description box down below and i'll also make sure i pin it on the comment section so y'all can easily go and copy that and paste it so y'all can follow me on all my social media platforms and definitely you know interact with me. i interact with you guys back so make sure you interact with me as well and i'll catch you guys on my next video thank you for watching bye guys